In this recipe tutorial, see how to make the colorful layers of this beautiful Victorian Harlequin cake. To see the lemon honey filling recipe and the decorating part, click the playlist at the end of the video. Also, I'll put the links for you in the description box. You can use four six inch layers like I did. Each pan is rubbed with shortening and dusted with flour, then a piece of parchment paper. This keeps the cakes from sticking. This book is the inspiration behind this cake, which calls for the juice of cooked spinach for the green layer. I ended up using Wilton Moss Green because my spinach failed. Beet juice worked perfectly though for the pink layer and two squares of chocolate for the brown layer. I used the vanilla cake from my book, Wedding Cakes with Lorelei, step by step. It's very similar to the one in the Victorian book. It comes with variations and charts for large and small batch baking. You'll need one cup of butter, two cups of sugar, one cup of milk, three cups sifted and then measured all-purpose flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, and a pinch of cinnamon, which is optional for this particular Harlequin cake, four eggs separated, and a teaspoon of vanilla, which I don't show you here. The soft butter goes into the mixer along with the sugar, and you mix that on low at first, then medium, then scrape it and then put it on high until it gets lighter in color and a little bit fluffy. It takes about probably two to three minutes. Add yolks one at a time, mixing after each addition. Whoops, <laughs> sorry, blooper. Give your dry ingredients a stir and then add alternately with the milk. You wanna scrape it and mix with each addition. Add one teaspoon of vanilla. Beat on medium high for about two minutes. Use a clean bowl and then mixer to beat the egg whites until stiff but not dry. Fold in the egg whites gently. This adds lightness to the batter. And you also wanna keep the air bubbles intact as much as possible. Divide your batter into four parts. The white part goes right into the pan. Melted chocolate gets folded in for the brown. And a half a tablespoon of beet juice goes into the pink one. A dab of moss green for the green. Make sure to fold that in and not to mix too much because you don't want to break up those air bubbles. Bake at 325 if you have a convection oven. If you have a regular oven, bake it 350 until they look like this and the knife or toothpick comes out clean. It takes about 30 minutes. You can wrap and store your layers in the fridge or freezer until ready to fill and frost. Click the playlist to see parts two and three. Part two is the filling and part three is the decorating of this beautiful Harlequin cake. <laughs>